This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace of here and welcome to JavaScript tutorial number seven. Today we're just going to be covering uh, two types of loops. Um, whereas in the C++ tutorials, I decided to do these two s in separate videos. Um, it's probably easier to do them in the same video, and um, there's no reason to have them in separate videos anyway. So um, let's just open up Notepad++ and we'll scroll to the top here. What we can see is, uh, of course, we've got the basic uh, page set up. Um, and then we're just going to open the script tags and the basic setup of the first loop we're going to be covering is while and then two parentheses and inside the parentheses a condition and basically while the condition is true execute this code okay so let's go have a look at our first live example just going to un uncomment it here what we're doing is we're creating a variable called control and assigning it a value of one and that control variable is actually going to control our loop that's why we called it control um, and basically we just type the words while again two parentheses and then our condition inside the parentheses that control is not equal to ten so while control is not equal to ten we're going to alert control and increase control by one okay so if we just save this Control S, open up our browser, find our file and drag and drop it in. Okay, we can see it's alerted one. Let's just bring our script back up quickly. Um, just do that there. Okay, so of course the value is originally one and it alerts before it increments. So um, it's always going to alert one first. Actually, there we, that's better. Now we can see the variable. Okay, and if I press OK here it goes to 2 because remember it will increase it will increment then it will go back to the beginning of the loop because the condition isn't um, condition isn't false yet so it still keeps looping through and now because um, control is now 2 because in the previous iteration we increased it by 1 it alerts 2 and now 3 because it increments and goes back to the top because 3 because the value of control is not equal to 10 and so on we can keep going I'm just gonna go right up to uh, nine here and what happened is in the iteration when it alerted eight it then increased the variable to nine and then it's reiterated because um, the value of control is nine so it's not equal to ten therefore and now it alerts control and what's going to happen is it's now going to increment uh, control which is uh, at the moment nine by one so next iteration it will be ten and therefore it increments it. It doesn't end straight away. Uh, what you'll realize with um, loops is that they still have to get to the end of um, the end of their uh, the end of their iteration before they can finish, unless they're told otherwise by a specific statement, which I will cover. But actually, I'm going to cover that in the next tutorial. But basically, what's going to happen is if we had this control equals control plus one uh, before the alert statement we would still have to increment it and then therefore it would be able to output 10 but then it would hit the end and it would loop back to the top it would check the condition and that condition would be false therefore it would skip everything in between these braces okay so what's happening here is it's going to increment it by one we well, got to press ok before it increments it though it's going to increment it by one then it's going to get to the end of the loop it's going to loop back to the top and it's going to check that condition and if the condition is true it's going to go to the next iteration of the loop, and if it's false, it's going to skip everything inside these curly braces, okay? So let's press OK. It's now 10, because we pressed OK and it incremented it, and it went back to the top and it checked it, and because control was 10, control was therefore not equal, was not not equal to 10, uh, and it finished the loop and skipped everything here, okay? Um, so that's one example of a, uh, of a while loop. We're gonna check out one tiny problem with the while loop. Oops, one tiny problem with the while loop. So, and that is this problem here. Let me uncomment this code first. Okay, here um, we're creating a variable called control again, but here we're assigning it a value of ten. We can actually do this because this is commented out, so it completely ignores this. 
that's why I've commented all this stuff out because it's using the same ver the same variable name so uh, I had to comment it out so variable control equals 10 and now what we're saying it is ex it's exactly the same loop as here the only difference in this and this is that the value we're assigning to control is 10 not 1 okay and what's going to happen is it's going to hit this while loop and it's going to say it has to check it before it goes into it remember so it's going to say is control not equal to 10 and because control is actually equal to 10 it's going to skip this entirely okay if i just whoops, go back and save this F5 to refresh. Here, I'll show you I'm refreshing. Oops. There, can you see that? And nothing's popping up still. And that's because it skips this loop. Now, we can, in fact, solve this problem, and I'm going to show you how, with the second type of loop. Okay? And that is a do while loop. And the reason this works um, is because we're checking, we're checking the, uh, the condition at the bottom we're not checking it at the top and that does matter because we're the uh, the condition is up here at the top 